Hey everybody, so today I'm making dinner for my parents and my boyfriend and we're having homemade lasagna. So I'm really excited, I'm going to show you guys how to make a really easy, delicious, flavorful tomato sauce that you can make in 30 minutes. It's really easy. So the first thing we're going to start off with is chopping our onions. So I've got a big yellow onion here and we're just going to chop it up. And the thing that I love about this tomato sauce is that I puree it. And so I don't really need to worry about making these chops really perfect. So I like that because we're just going to puree the whole thing. But that being said, you want your tomato sauce to cook evenly while it's being simmered. So you still need to try a little bit, but don't worry if they're not perfect. Okay, so I've got my onion all chopped up. Now it's time to start the tomato sauce. All right guys, so now it's sauce time. So I've got about three tablespoons of olive oil in a medium saute pan. And you wanna make sure that you have a lid to fit the saute pan for when we simmer our sauce. So I'm gonna turn up my heat to medium. Okay, so now that my oil is nice and fluid and hot, we're gonna add all of our onions. And make sure when you're doing it that you're pointing the bowl away from you so that you don't get hot oil all over you. Turn up the heat just a little bit more, just a little bit above medium. And now we're just gonna saute these onions until they're nice and tender, about three to four minutes. All right, everyone, so now that my onions are nice and tender, just a little bit golden, we're gonna add everything else. So. I'm gonna add two cups of water, a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, two six ounce cans of tomato paste, add the last can. Okay guys, so as you can see, my sauce is bubbling away. We're gonna turn it around a little bit. So after I added my six ounce cans of tomato paste, the two of them, and I made sure to wash them, the tops of them with a little bit of soap and water, I added two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a tablespoon of white sugar. And the white sugar was just to make sure that we balanced the acidity that's in those tomatoes because canned tomatoes tend to have a lot of acidity. So we offset that with a tablespoon of sugar. And then we also added a tablespoon of oregano. If you want to be super fancy, it was just dried oregano. You just rub it in your hands as you're putting it into the sauce. And it kind of releases the flavors and that oregano. So, added all of that, brought it to a boil, and now we're just turning it down to low heat, and we're covering it, and we're gonna simmer. Now, it's really important that you have a covered skillet, because obviously you need to simmer the tomato sauce, and you need to cover it while you're simmering it. But, if you don't have a covered saute pan, if you are a college student, if you don't wanna buy one, whatever, you can use a plate. Just a regular dinner plate. I've used glass ones at uh, my boyfriend's house before. And you just cover it with that while you're simmering it. The water tends to drop a little bit, but it is a solution. I can be kind of wary to use this as a solution, but if you need it, it can be used. Okay guys, now is the last step. Tomato sauce has simmered. And this sauce is really forgiving. If you can't simmer it as long, like say you only have 20 or 25 minutes to do it, it's still gonna be delicious. But the 30 minute simmering time makes it even better. So now I'm just ladling my sauce into a blender. As you can see, I put an apron on because I do not trust myself not to splatter it all over me. And you can totally skip this step and not puree the sauce. I really like a smooth sauce, but if you don't mind the onions, you can definitely just keep it as is. Now that I've got all that stuff out of the way, put this on top of here. The last touch, we're gonna add five or six leaves of fresh basil. I just really like basil in tomato sauces, but if you don't wanna use basil or if you wanna use dry basil, you can do that as well, but I love fresh basil. Okay, now here comes the kind of scary part. I'm gonna cover this with a towel, because it's pretty high to the top, and we're gonna blend it, and we're just gonna close our eyes and hope that it goes okay. But I've done this before, props. Okay, all done. Now, did I mention my blender might be 
might be broken. <laughs> my sauce is done. Now, all I have to do is put it away. It doesn't really have to blend that long for it to get smooth. There's not huge chunks of stuff in there. But, ooh, and you can see the fresh flecks of basil. Nice and smooth. Okay. Okay, so we're all done. This can be used for lasagna. This is going to make a 9 by 13 pan of lasagna. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. And this is really easy, really simple, and it's just so flavorful. I'm using it to make roasted vegetable lasagna tonight, and it's going to be really good. So please try this recipe. It's really easy, works well every time. You've got to try it.